Hey, what is going on everybody? My name is the Dizzy Viper and welcome to today's tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can create realistic raindrop materials like this for your car renders. So without any further ado, let's get straight into Cinema 4D. So right here I have a model of an Audi RS7 open for you. As you can see there are no raindrops on it or anything, just like that. In this tutorial I'm going to be using Rate Zero's auto shaders. As an alternative you can also use Spastic Mouse's car shader. They are both very well made and they can both be used very well with raindrops. So as you can see if I go into my car paint material from Rate Zero, there is this note tree. As a source for the raindrops I'm going to be using textures from polygon.com uh, and later on I'm going to be showing you how you can use animated raindrop textures, for example by Travis Davids. So in your notary you're going to create a new image texture and plug that in into your two normal channels. There is one normal channel that is already used, which is used for the flakes. You're not going to be changing that one. So in your image texture just open up your polygon textures. I will leave a link to the pack in the description down below. The pack is called Surface Imperfections, but you can also purchase them as single textures. Um, so in here you can find your rain folder and in there you have a bunch of raindrop textures. My favorite texture to use is the first one, the raindrops and streaks 001. And I'm gonna only use the normal map in here. So we're gonna open that up. And now as you can see, we got the raindrops out here. They're a little too big so we're just gonna change the size of the texture a little bit. I'm gonna put it to like, I don't know, 1700 probably should should look better. Exactly. Now something very important that you have to do if you do car renders with rain on it, don't forget the headlights. What you're going to do is you're going to just open up your headlight material, which for me is a, a glossy material with an index of 1 and an opacity of 0 0.2. That way you get a pretty realistic glass material, but without all the light scattering and fireflies that come with a specular material. And right in here in the material editor, you're just going to create another image texture and do the same thing again. You're just going to put in uh, an image texture and also the same raindrop material like this. And now also in here, make sure that the size of your texture is the same size as the texture on your car. So 1700 like that. And as you can see what that does, it makes it look like the raindrops are running from the hood over the headlight and down on the car again. Uh, it makes it actually look more realistic because obviously not only the car paint has raindrops on it. Um, also don't forget to do this for like chrome pieces like this and maybe also even the rims. Even though since the wheels are spinning they should not have streaks like this on it, they then would have just the raindrops on it from the auto texture. And now I will show you how you can use Travis David's animated raindrop materials using this technique. So let's go straight back into our car paint shader and delete our normal map. We do this because uh, Travis David's textures don't come with a normal texture, they come with bump maps and roughness maps. So we're gonna create a new image texture and now go into my, wait, into my Travis David's folder animated rain material and right here I'm gonna be using the full sequence bump plus roughness. I'm only gonna be using the bump map this time though. So we're gonna just open up the first image sequence, the first image texture from this animated raindrop sequence, like this. And now we're gonna plug this into our bump maps, like that. And now if you go inside your uh, image texture node, you go into your animation tab and hit on loop. And then here you just um, type in the length of your animation. Let's say you have an animation that, ta that, that is, uh, I don't know, 90 frames, 100 frames. In my case, this animation is gonna be 90 frames. So I'm gonna put in 90. So as you can see, um, they got a little bit smaller. That's because the raindrops from the Travis Davids pack are not obviously not the same exact same size the polygon textures are. So we're just gonna go back in here and set in a new uh, a new material size. I'm gonna be doing 2500. So now we have a little bigger raindrops. There are also not as many raindrops on this material. And now we're gonna be doing the same for the headlights. So we're gonna go in here again, create a new image texture, delete this, create a new image texture, put that into our bump map, and open up this sequence. Go into animation, 90, and loop, like that. And that should do the, do the job. I also found that Travis David's textures, or the raindrop animated material, works very well for um, windshields. 
So if I'm going to turn my windshield material, which is a little darker, it's not the same material as my headlight material. Uh, and I'm going to do the same here. Um, and now if I also use a roughness map here, a roughness channel, which uh, Travis Davids also provided, uh, I'm going to open up the roughness. Roughness right here. And loop and like this. Obviously now the texture is too small, so I'm again going to change this to the same size as all my other materials on the car, which was 2500, like that. And what I really like about this actually is, you're not going to use this for a normal uh, rain scene, but what I really enjoy about this look is that the glass actually looks foggy and steamy. Um, and everywhere where the raindrops run down, it gets clear. So just like it does in real life. And I, I sometimes really enjoy this look, especially with like creepy, foggy night scenes. Um, it, it makes it look really cool, I think. So yeah, that was a tutorial on how I create raindrops on my cars and car renders. Um, it's a very simple method and it works very quickly. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. As, again, in the description down below, you will find links to polygon.com surface imperfections and also the Travis David's uh, animated Rinrock material, as well as Raid Zero's auto shaders and Spastic Mouse auto shaders. So again, thanks for watching. I hope it helped. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, maybe subscribe for more tutorials. And yeah, have a nice day.